Hi, welcome to Christy's Stampin' Spot. I'm Christy, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm going to be making um, my week three zombie coffin of my 12 weeks of Halloween. So, it's September 2nd, and on the 4th, our new holiday catalog goes in it goes live so you can customers can order and that's actually where I'm getting our um, fabulous products to make our zombie coffins is from the holiday catalog if you don't have a holiday catalog or you um, don't have a demonstrator just send me an email and I will get one out to you um, we're also using some of the gorgeous ribbon that's actually you can find in the annual catalog as well to make today's project okay so there's a lot involved what you need is to make this super cute how cute is he so cute the zombie as you start with one of these fabulous coffins so they come in packs of 12 and they can look like this so some of the other embossing folders you don't really need to as much but i do know with the texture it's really important that you burnish all these fabulous score lines they're super easy to put these things together so before you put them through the um your embossing folder in your machine um i have i still use the big shop and this is the older um subtles if you guys have the subtle um the new subtle um embossing folder you need to use the blue plate mm -hmm. with our new ones you need to use our new 3d plate you can also order in my online store but um if you have the old one i i anyway i just use my six by six is perfect so the <clears throat> the regular side the top of your coffin fits perfectly you just want to make sure that you don't put it too far up so you don't get this little lip piece it should fit perfectly in when you put it through your machine however i really also like to do the bottom and they don't fit perfectly. So we're actually gonna attach our zombie to the back end. So I wanna make sure that the back end looks the best. So I put it and you just put it down when you put it through your um, embossing folder, do it below that line. And as you can see, when you put it through the embossing folder below that line, you get about a little bit left that doesn't fit. So after I run it through, just the once, and you turn it over and just put that piece in just so it just covers just like this and then um you can get it now there's a little bit of a line but interestingly that little line is exactly where your um your coffin folds so no one will be able to see it plus you can always take your um bone folder and burnish it a little bit to kind of get rid of a little bit of the line but that way you can get that texture on the bottom as well Okay, so I've done all what you need to do then after you run your coffin through your texture, uh, your settles embossing folder. Um, you can also use any of the other ones. They, um, they use this, I used um, one of our very cool, the new, I think it's called Stylish Scroll. It's in the new catalog as well, as you can see on this one. And then now you just rubbed the gold um, shimmer paint. So we're gonna actually use the, fro the frost white shimmer paint that's in the catalog, the animal catalog, to make this one. With this, I used the gold, which you can still purchase on the clearance rack. And that look cool too. And I did the same thing. In the same way, it didn't fit completely, and then I just did the other edge on there. But anyway, so it looks great with all the different kinds of embossing folders. But for this project, I did use the Subtle, which I love. I use the Subtle for everything. Okay. All right. So then after you've, you want to make sure you've, um, you get all your score lines. And then I use tear and tape, which is the best way to put your box together. Now it does take a little bit longer. And I find because these tabs are really small that it's easier to use your paper snips when you're putting it on. So instead of just tearing the pieces, because you want to make sure you get as most the most coverage. So when you're doing it, make sure you put your tear and tape. I find that when I was doing it, I would put my tear and tape down. You really want to make sure you get it at the top. Then I would... Just turn it over and use my paper snips. Oh, I 
snip it off to snip it off so that you can get it on there as much as you can without too much and then if you get a little bit over you can just roll the, the tear and tape over okay so then with the magic I don't want you guys to watch me put because there's a lot of places you have to put tear and tape on both sides of these coffins to put them together I mean they make a super cute um, super cute box but I didn't want you guys to wa wait while I did that so here we are this is what it looks like put it all together is that super cute so all I've done with this is done the texture embossing, the, the, the put the settles embossing folder, and got a little piece of tear and tape right there. Okay, so then we're going to do add the color. So we are using our Boo to you and our um, ornate um, <clears throat> frames that, that actually come with the, spectu the spectacular spooktacular bash bundle which is in the fabulous inside the new holiday catalog let's set that aside because this can get messy so as you can tell I, when i was doing the other one it does make quite a mess so you want to make sure you put all of your fabulous um pieces away so you don't get it all over everything so what i'm going to do is i take i'm just going to take one of my big acrylic locks and i'm going to add shake it up this is the frost white and shimmer paint and you can get this in our um, annual catalog so it's in on my online store I'm just gonna add a few drops onto my acrylic block you know what? Uh, a little bit on the lip and we're gonna need your aqua painter I'll just pull that off there so I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my frost white but what I'm going to also do is I'm going to add a few drops of Pool Party color to my Frost White. Just to give it a little bit of a difference. And so I'm just going to swirl this around so it kind of matches my zombie. But you need to get, so I'm going to put a little bit over here where it's really watery with that. And then going to splatter the color onto my um, put some splatters onto my uh, coffin so this is, takes the longest time and it is a little bit messy as you can tell you want definitely want to make sure your surface is clean. Oh my gosh, I just love the um, and do it to your desired amount. And again, um, it splatters really good with the more water you add, but does it have as much color? The lighter, the more water you add to it. I just love the splatters. It's part of the texture on there. The splattering is fun. <laughs> I made a project and I saw that they had used a little bit of splatter and I just went all out and did a ton. I love the shimmer paint. So just add. So get some splatters on there. So there you go until you get the coverage you like. Definitely don't neglect the sides, especially the, the um, the bottom because that's where we're going to attach our zombie okay so then after you've got your your thing as splattered as you like and let me clean off my my aqua painter for right now and then i'm going to take a sponge so these are our sponges come in they're like round and you just cut them into little wedges i'm just going to take a little bit of the of the paint I'm just going to go over, you can use a sponge dauber too, I'm just going to start from the edges and go down like that, isn't that cool? And you can add as much or as little as you want of the paint, I just love to add the texture, the paint gives just a little bit of extra, it's fun, super fun, super fun. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just dragging it down. I 
gives it kind of a drippy, drippy look. And adding some to the back until you get. It does take a little bit to dry, but look at my hands, I'll get covered in it. <laughs> Just love. Do, do love. So I'm just going to make sure I go to the, on the sides here. Make sure I get as much of a coverage as I want. There you go. Alright, so when you've got your, let me add a little bit more to the back. So when you've got this the way you like it, so you can see you've got some splatters and some color. And I don't know why, but I just love the way the pool party, it changes the, the white just a little bit. It adds just a tone, which is super cool, right? Like, I love that. So there we go. So you just add what you like. Now, again, it is a little messy. <laughs> so definitely want to make sure you have more than one surface. So I'm going to go, you can use this. I'll just wipe that off. I love using, the acrylic blocks are actually quite awesome because you can use them for all kinds of part you can also add the, the frost white directly or your shimmer paint directly to this as well as your inks and use that as a stamp you can use these acrylic blocks or everything but they're fabulous for um, using them as your paint um, surface okay so I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside so I have some of the out of my way so my surface isn't super wet okay so I did get this piece a little bit wet and I don't want to get anything of my other stuff wet so I'll move that out of the way I have another sheet ready to go and I really do love our um, these are our stamping workspace sheets because they have the the measurements we have some really pretty ones as well that don't have the um, measurements but I do love to use the ones with the measurements okay so let's get to the stamping so while our box is drying while our box is drying I'm gonna show you guys the stamping part okay so, um, on the, this, I like to use my, um, I used vanilla. So on the very first one I used a whisper white tag, but I think I really like the very vanilla better. And I used the very vanilla for the zombies and I really liked it so much better. Okay. So I'm just going to get some, um, very vanilla scrap. I think cause it makes it a little bit warmer. So on what your effect. So I'm using Memento Ink on my zombie. Isn't he super cute? Okay, and stamp him. Fabulous. Well, what I really want is I want to have the zombie on both sides, right? This side and this side. So how do I get that reversible image? Okay, so let me show you guys how to do that. Put that away while I grab my Stamparatus. For the Stamparatus, it comes with all these fabulous mats, but you don't need them for this. So pull those all away. Move this out of the way. I'm gonna clean this off. Do -do -do. Clean my, my zombie off. He's a little damp. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, and then um, I have used in the past my. Um, like the pieces, I think there's like a pretty big piece that's in the teacup, but, but I have found that this actually, this watercolor piece that's big from the Love What You Do is perfect for this size stamp to do transfer. Now there's a bunch of ways you can do this with your window sheets and other stuff, but I always want to do it as quick as I can with as less moving parts. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick this on here just like that. And then you know how you, so it, I don't have anything. It just adheres right to the plate. And then I'm going to put my, my zombie. So he fits just like that. Okay. And then he picks right up. It's just super awesome. And one of the reasons I love doing it with my, um, Stamparatus is because you want to really get a good dark image. So you're going to want to stamp him a couple of times so that he matches the other one, right? So here we go. Do, 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 it's not looking. So we do him a couple. That actually went really good. So let's stamp him more than once. 
but you can get him until he's super dark. And he wanted to be a little darker than the other because you're going to pull this off and you're going to just put him, see how it easily pulls off, and just stick him onto a block just like that. Oops. And then let me clean this off before I make a mess. Thing with the lovely blacks I'm gonna make it feel like I'm always gonna put my fingers in it and get my other pieces of my project wet okay all right so that's all we need for a stamp apparatus let me move that out of the way and then you just take your regular cardstock so whenever you transfer whether you're using your um stamp and write markers to just color or anything you need to huff on your image to make sure that it's super wet so <sighs> fog up the the block a little bit and then, just like that, muy bien, right? Works super good. Okay, so it's super quick, and then it just comes right off. Awesome, easy, easy, easy peasy. So now you have both sets, right? So I like to color these with the Stampin' Blends, because I'm going to put them back to back. And um, one of the tips... I, I don't know why it works and makes it look so much awesome makes it look so awesome is that you um, use the light pull party to go around your image so let me just show you so I did do um, I used the dark balmy blue for his pants um, the dark pull party for his shirt I used the uh, the dark Highland Heather for his hair, the light smoky slate for his skin, and then I added the light pool party. And so you're like, well, where is that light pool party? Well, the light pool party, I think it just adds something extra. So let's see. So if, once I get him colored, now I'm not gonna make you guys watch me color and fuss to cut these out. I actually got them done beforehand, so you guys don't have to watch me do it. But use your light pool party to go around. So there's something about adding it to the to the outside of your image, especially when you're fussy cutting that out, although it looks good with, when you don't fussy cut it either. But it kind of gives it dimension for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but it totally does. I've seen several other demonstrators do it. It really works. So I absolutely really looks great and of course you can pick any colors you want but these are the ones that I use to color my zombies and then of can of course then you need to fussy cut it out which of course takes for a while remember you want to move your, I think you move your scissors now just when you fussy cut them out da da here they are super cute okay so then how do you attach them to your coffin so we have these fabulous window sheets and I went ahead and cut, and the window sheets come with this paper back on the back, and it's glossy on one side. So I cut it in um, one and a half by one, which is a perfect size. And then you just take the paper, just comes off, and that's actually going to fit right here. So how do we do that? Do you want to take your, um, I had it out and I've set it down. Here we go. You need to add a little bit of, oh, hi, Karen. Add a little bit of um, tear and tape to the bottom of your window sheet. Get it right here at the bottom. And then pull that up. Do, do, do. You can get it. There we go. Maybe I can see how it's got the little bit of sheet. Can you, can you see the... You can't really see it on that. I don't even have any colored cardstock. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're just going to add this right here to the back side right here. So about uh, almost halfway down. Not a lot down though because you're going to you need this to hold your zombie. So then I'm going to take my thing and I'm going to bend it. So if I'm going to bend it for two reasons. One, to kind of give me an idea of where exactly I need to make sure I put my zombie feet. But it also helps that when you close your lid, it'll close a little bit easier so you're not fighting your zombie. Okay, so you're going to put your first zombie on. You want them to be right here. 
so it fits right on there. So I find glue dots works the best to add to the um, come back in my box. Doo -doo -doo. Burner. It's right here. Put them, oh, I actually put them in the box. <laughs> One of these. Okay, so add your glue dots to his feet. So I'm going to glue, add the glue dots to the bottom. Actually, it might be easier if I just use my pick a tool to pull them off. Off the glue dots and put them exactly where I want them to attach. So this attaches to the acetate, right? Your window sheet. Now we do have some really cool spooky ones, like um, that's in the holiday catalog. But I think we want to clear. So we don't need to add any more spookiness. But it might look cool. But but the point of this is so you don't see it. So that's why I use the clear. Okay, let's see, he's going to go on just like that. So it's about halfway, so let me add one more to his right here. So we want it to stick pretty good. Okay, so just like that. Do you guys see how he's on there? Just like that. Okay, and so we're going to do the same thing for the second side. It's easier if I do it this way. Now, concentrating on getting these glue dots in the right space. Now, when you're cutting them out, um, you want to try to make sure you cut them about the same so that you can, um, so they kind of go back to back. Okay, oops, stuck to my finger. Okay. So the end, I'm going to add glue, liquid glue to his top. Okay, so he can glue, so he will stick to the other zombie. You don't need a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue. You don't want to make it too messy. Okay. And then just try to get it so it's just about as close as you can. Matching. Just like that. Super cool, right? And look at that. Now we have our zombie is attached to our coffin. So that's super cute. You can, I, I'm, I don't know if you guys have seen this with boxes, but this adding this acetate is super cute and super easy. So then you have your zombie. Okay, so the struggle is, what are you going to do with the inside, right? So what I did is, I don't know if you last um, time I told you how to make your own DSP. Well, if you use it on, on um, tissue paper, you can make your own uh, lining as well. I've seen other people use um, some fabric in the inside, or you can use colored paper, but uh, I think it takes too long. <laughs> <laughs> so I just made some tissue paper and like I said, I just used Spooky and this is the um, Pool Party and the Memento Black and I use the Spooky that comes in the Spooktacular uh, bundle, Spooktacular Bash bundle I just, and this one I just cut it in fours and I found these super cute bubbles at Target. Are zero zombie fingers? My daughter totally loved the zombie fingers, so it fits perfectly inside, and then this gives it just a little bit. You can add as much tissue paper as you want, or as little. But there you go. So that's that. Now let's make our pretty, um, our pretty label. So I love these ornate frames. They're so fabulous. It comes. They're the other part of the spectacular bash. Um, bundle they're fabulous 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 and so oh gosh i i would love if these would stay because they're so fantastic i totally adore them okay so we're gonna make with a black foil i cut out one of these frames for the label and then for i use this 
open if you dare stamp and I stamped on um, very vanilla and on the other one I used whisper white I think I really like the very vanilla better because it's a little bit warmer it doesn't look as cold which I like okay so let me get all my and I had that here we go so then and I these are um, I used my precision plates to do to use these and I actually went through three times to get the foil out but it comes out pretty good as you see I made an extra one just in case I messed this up doing the the one thing but love it love it love it so these are really pretty and like I said that's what did um, it cuts out these these images really nice and oh my gosh, I can't wait to well, I'm gonna use this one next. I think these these are so cute. So cute, so cute. Okay, but I love these frames. They're fabulous. For way more than just Halloween. But I did this in this black, in the black foil. Isn't that pretty? And then did the um, open if you dare. And so make sure you have them both. And then you kind of need to see how you want it to fit. And then I took my hole punch. And I cut it, I mean, I punched a hole about right, oh, I want to use the bigger hole side. Do you guys have your crocodile, crocodile still? You can get these at the craft, craft stores, just like that. And then you're going to take your ribbon. So I used some of this fabulous glittered organy ribbon that you can find in our annual catalog. I absolutely adore it, but you need a bunch. So I started off with like a piece that was like 13 inches, but it didn't give me the bow or this tie, the um the real room I needed to make it pretty. So I went ahead and got 19 inches, and then you, what you need to do is you need to thread it through first, just like this. So you've got your hole and you've threaded it, right? So you want to do that like that, and then we have these fabulous black um combo pack of dimensionals and I think I stick them in here do 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 and you want so a combo packs so we have minis so use your mini ones and you're gonna want to put them on right here and right here so just on the edges because then this is free for your um, your ribbon to move So once you've got that on, and put your, oops, I'm going to get it even. That way you're, so it's covered by your, um, the hole punch, so you can't see it, but it's just like that. <laughs> we in a little bit. Okay, we in. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's super simple. Then, of course, you have to Winkosella everything, which I love. So I added a little bit of Winkosella to my skull, and then I added a little bit to the eyes. Let me move this out of the way while I finish it. The eyes of my zombie on both sides. Love some Wink Estella. And then we have these fabulous um, embellishments. So, oh, here we go. So one of the embellishments we have are these fabulous googly eyes. And because I use purple on his hair, so I can use these fabulous purple, um, purple googly eyes. And I would use a glue dot for this one because it's big. And I set my picket tool down. Let me get the, the glue dot off. Add my glue dot to my googly eye. And then I'm just going to add it to. Isn't that cool? Now you're going to add them each, you know, two to each side. I just did one. I have it matched. No, it's not behind him. It's in front of him, but that 
but you can see your guy. There we go. Again. There you go. Okay, so now we can just put it all together. So let's put this away before I dump those out everywhere. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay. And then glue goes back in the glue thing. Are super cute. I got these at Target, like I said, in a four pack. Isn't that cute? And then my daughter loves the bubbles. Close your box up. And how it sits, it goes just like that over your ribbon. Tie your box. And now you just remember you don't have to actually, to open it, you don't actually have to untie your ribbon. You can just slip it off. I tie my ribbon. So it's to the side. Just like that. And then I want to add a cute little, we have these super cute um, embellishments. They're also in the new holiday catalog, so I'm just going to take that off. Put that right there. And muy bien. There you go. You're going to add more. I think just adding this little bit to the, the box makes it super cute. And like I said, you don't have to undo your bow. You can just slide it off. And there you go. He pops right out. Isn't that super cute? Do, do, do. He's so cute. And because we've, I've shown you how you can do it on the back. I love having it on the back. So either whichever way they open it, he pops out. It's not super cute because we don't have like his backside. But um, I'm not good enough to try to trace or do anything like that. But having him both, having it both on both sides, I really like. Muy bien. Okay. Well, I hope you guys liked um, week three of my 12 weeks of Halloween, my little zombie coffin, and hopefully I'll get, uh, you'll, I'll have the video for week four up Thursday or Friday and this should be up on my videos on my YouTube channel hopefully today so if you're watching the replay on Facebook please you know like my video if you're watching this on um, YouTube make sure you hit that that subscribe button so that you can get notified of all my other videos and I hope you guys enjoyed today's zombie coffin and um, I hope those that are um, have celebrating here in the US um, what is today? It's the, we have a paid holiday. I totally left my brain. <laughs> um, what is today? Second. Yeah, I know it's the second. It's the paid holiday. My son has his first paid holiday Labor today. Day. Oh, Labor Day. Labor Day. I don't know why it totally left me. So Labor Day. So I hope you are enjoying their day off, um, in the United States for Labor Day. And I hope everyone else is having a great Monday and has a great rest of your week. So happy crafting.